You guys keep asking what my theories for Arrow Season 4 are. Well, you haven't really, but I figured if I was going to do Flash Season 2 theories, I might as well do Arrow Season 4 theories. a and um, might as well do some Game of Thrones Season 6 and whatever the next season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is. So, warning, spoilers for Arrow Season 3 coming up. Right now, most of the plot lines in Arrow seem to be resolved. As a matter of fact, they could literally have ended it here, and while we would have been angry at them, it wouldn't have left that many major cliffhangers. So let's start with my theories about what the flashback sequence is going to be about this year. Each year has been about Oliver learning another part of becoming a hero, and while we've seen some crazy stuff, we haven't seen where he got the idea for The Vigilante. By that, I mean the superhero persona that he took on in the first season. Sure, you can say that it was a natural progression for him after hiding his identity, but let's have a little fun with this theory. If you've watched our Green Arrow Easter Eggs video, then you'll be aware of the fact that they've been hinting at Green Arrow and Coast City for quite some time. It was also left open at the end of Flash Season 1 just how long the pilot that went missing at Ferris Airfields has actually been missing. And at the end of the flashback sequences last time on Arrow, we saw him boarding a boat to Coast City. Well, if this is the season where he learns more about being a superhero, maybe he meets Hal Jordan. I know it's a long shot, but Hal has always had a heroic attitude, which is why he's always been a great Green Lantern. Aside from the whole ending the entire core as Parallax thing. Imagine if Oliver went to Coast City and he gets wrapped up in some crazy plot involving Hal Jordan pre-Green Lantern era, and the season ends with Hal vanishing because he got the ring. Wouldn't that be just insanely awesome? But it would kind of give us a good reason as to why Oliver decides he should be a hero and less of a black ops kind of a guy. Moving to our modern day storyline, when we left off, Oliver was done with this life and he left the city in the hands of everyone else. Now I foresee John Diggle coming back early on because he got in over his head doing whatever it is he was doing. I think it'll either involve him hunting down Waller in the Suicide Squad or maybe Hive to get revenge for his brother's death. But I foresee him eventually coming back to get Oliver because he needs Oliver's help. We know Oliver is back in his green duds by the show Legends of Tomorrow, so it wouldn't be too far-fetched if the reason he's back in the green duds is because his good friend John Diggle needs him. I also foresee Felicity and Oliver's relationship being a central point of this season, as she's unhappy with him in constant danger now that he's going back to being Arrow. And we'll also probably see less of Rey as he's moving on to the show Legends of Tomorrow. You can also expect to see more Thea Queen in the Red Arrow outfit because she has the nickname Speedy, which is actually one of the nicknames of Arrow's sidekicks. Lastly, the League of Assassins is probably gone for at least a season or two, unless Oliver decides that he needs their help with whoever this new villain is. But I don't see them aiding Oliver because he's about to have a lot more superhero friends because of Legends of Tomorrow. Why would he need the League of Assassins when he can just call the Flash, Hawk Girl, even Ray in the Atom Suit? And that's basically it. There wasn't a massive cliffhanger like the Flash episode, so it's almost like it's a fresh start for the show where they can get it more in line with all of these new shows that are coming up. Think of it as a new DCU launch for Arrow. But what are your theories? Let us know in the comments down below and we can chat about them. I'm Benny for Comic Storian TV and you can follow us on Twitter at Comic Storian. You can also follow me on Instagram at Comic Storian or you can go to our Facebook.com backslash Eligible Monster. Thanks and I'll see you guys again.